Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. It is I, Sierra Daredevil, and this video is a little different than normal. Um, it is a quick little update video thing for our TW series on the channel. Uh, the This is kind of an update thing for the WCW one, the AEW one, and the TNA one, as well as the local to global that we recently started, the CPW one. If you have... Uh, been watching one or two series and you just heard about that and you're like, wait, those are other series on the channel? You should definitely be checking those out. Um, so, a couple things I wanted to to bring up in this video. Uh, it's not going to be a long one and you're basically only going to see this screen the whole time. Um, I thought about having gameplay footage in the background, but eh, whatever. Um, so, point number one I need to bring up. Uh, since recording lockdown the last video i did lockdown 2015 uh there has been a big announcement in that the logo you see on the screen now is soon not going to be the most recent tw game uh there is a new game coming out tw9 or ix or i don't know exactly what it's being called uh, i think it's called t i think it's being called tw9 um I don't know if it has an official name yet. I've only seen it as TW9 or TWIX for those who don't know that 9 or that IX is 9 for in Roman numerals. Um, so that's going to be happening. Uh, I have been following along with the, to be fair, there's only been like one, this is like day one of the uh, developer journal thing over. So there hasn't been a lot of, you know, notes about the game so far. Um, but I do know that it's supposed to be coming out in about four weeks time. I believe it is like, it's gonna be coming out like soon, soon. Um, so the question would then be daredevil. What happens with the TW series that you have going on on the channel? Because obviously I'm going to be getting the new TW game day one, obviously, uh, hopefully by that point. I will have my streaming situation figured out and we'll be able to start streaming again. And so you'll see a lot of actual live streams of that too on the channel, on the channel there that you can see right there on the screen. If you go to that Twitch one, CR Daredevil, you go follow that. Um, so the idea would be for the time being, at least for the first, however long, um, would be probably still follow, still keeping the series that I have going on the channel in TW 2020, just because I'm not 100% sure what the transferring process is going to be for mods and save games and all that stuff quite yet. Um, as soon as I know that, I will be able to kind of provide a better, up, a better update on that. Um, and... It's gonna take a little. It's gonna take a little bit too, or it's gonna like. I'm gonna have to look into a little bit too because I don't know. So they already had a, a fair, few, you know, a fair amount of like bigger changes announced so far, even after just one day of the developer journal. And so I don't. I know that there's gonna be a lot of changes with the new game, and I don't want to transfer this stuff. I don't want to transfer one of these saves over to the new game, and then have it screw up a save because I have a bunch of stuff that I suddenly have to do in the new save that's going to throw everything off. For example, uh, in day one of the developer journal, they've announced that you're now going to have creative teams in your company where you will actually have, you actually have the potential to have a few more people helping out the head booker. Um, and it can only, it can unlock creative ideas and stuff like that. I don't want to take one of our current saves and transfer it into that and then suddenly get a bunch of people either requesting or demanding to be a part of the creative team and then have a bunch of issues happen and throw the saves completely into chaos because the game doesn't like it doesn't, you know, work that well from the transfer thing. So I'm going to have to look into it a little bit and see, but the idea for the time being would be to keep them still in the TW 2020 game. So they would still be getting explored in this TW 2020 game. And then as soon as I could figure out the best way to transfer them over without having too much hassle and too much chaos involved in it, then we would do so. Um, so that's kind of the idea there is they 
they're still going to be happening. The series, the four different ones are still going to be happening, but we'll see how quickly they get transferred to the new game. Um, I'm definitely excited for the new game for sure. Um, and I plan on trying to do something associated with the, with the new game once they start do like I might try to do a new series either on stream or on YouTube here with the new game once they actually once you know all the the mod makers start creating a bunch of mods for the game to have all the real life real characters in and all that stuff um but we'll see we'll see what happens um I probably will do a video within the first 24 to 48 hours of release though that will just be kind of going over my thoughts on the game early on. Uh, so you'll definitely be able to look out for that for sure too. Uh, second thing to bring up briefly real quick. So as mentioned in the lockdown 2015 video, which if you have not watched that before you watch this, you should definitely go back and check it out. Um, in the escape matches that we did, I mentioned that I took the people with the best win percentages uh, that weren't already booked and put them in those matches. I have actually created a spreadsheet off screen uh, for all of these series, the WCW one, the AEW one, the TNA one, and the CPW one that features win losses, uh, their in-ring performances for their last like 10 plus matches, um, different promo, so a bunch of stuff that I'm, that I'm doing mathematician wise stuff that you probably that you won't really see on on screen wise a uh, bunch of statistic stuff that you probably won't be seeing on screen wise um but what you might be seeing is the way i'm going to be integrating that into the series because i'm going to try across the board to set up a unofficial ranking system now i say unofficial because obviously there's going to be certain circumstances where i might have somebody who's not a number one contender challenging that kind of thing it's gonna. Be, it's not gonna be quite the same way that AEW's in real life was, but it's gonna be kind of loosely based off of it. So the idea would be that the way I have it set up, um, would be like for example, the top. You know, I'll probably have like the champion and then the top five contenders, and then the idea would be that you have to be in the top five contenders to have a shot at the title. Unless it's like a storyline purpose or the champion gives a title shot to somebody or something like that. Um, and I have different things I'm basing it off of. Uh, popularity, performance, all this kind of stuff. Um, don't know how often I would update it on screen, like in the videos. But I'm going to try to do at least a rudimentary version of it. Now, I will tell you right now, it is not going to be anything fancy. Yours truly, CR Daredevil, does not do fancy, as you could probably tell. <laughs> there are TW cre content creators out there who have like video clips into their editing in their videos, and they do all this fancy editing stuff. And I don't do that. I I just do my style and and I run with it. So it won't be anything fancy. It would probably just be a variation of you know, some sort of base, you know, some sort of like Excel sheet with different colors and stuff like that. That's probably as, as crazy as I would get with it. But that would be the idea, um, is that you'll get, you would get that. Uh, and that would kind of help determine challengers heading for it. Because, you know, I, I like the idea of having a ranking system, but sometimes ranking systems can get a little goofy. For example, uh, we're not going to be doing the farming system like they did in real life AEW, where someone goes to dark and farms a bunch of wins um because when we do set up dark in there because the the well not when we do set up dark the rule will be that any because i already have it set aside the rule is that any wins and losses you pick up on the b shows don't count towards your win loss record when it comes to actually challenging in the rankings so like for example if if uh Hikaru Shida in our TNA save goes and picks up like five victories on explosion. Those five victories are not going to count towards her win loss record for the ranking system because I'm not going to play the farming game. Um, you know, you have to earn those victories on our A shows to earn 
those opportunities, essentially. So it'll be interesting to see how it plays out. Um, on screen wise, might be a little, might be some some changes with it. I'm I'm gonna kind of see. I'm kind of playing with the idea of some stuff right now. That's why you haven't seen a new video in the WCW one since Super Brawl. Um, uh, I'm kind of playing around some stuff right now, so I got to figure out the best way I want to have it set up. Uh, I thought about possibly doing like putting like making a, an edit to their name so that like if you see in the match you know if you see like a match happen where it shows you know evil uno versus uh like for example the aw save where it shows evil uno versus isaiah cassidy it would show like evil uno and then parentheses like number two tag or something like that that would kind of show that he that he's in like the number two rankings for the tag team division. I haven't figured out exactly how I'm going to do that yet. Um, so that's why I'm kind of playing around with trying to figure out the best way to edit it because I also don't want to create 8,000 uh, alter egos for something like that. So we'll see how that works. But um, but that's kind of what I'm going to be doing is, is doing that because I think it would be really cool to have kind of a little bit of a ranking system for some of that stuff heading forward. Um, it gets you as the viewer a little bit of an idea of like, how well this person is doing um, other than just seeing what their win law, you know, other than seeing what their in-ring performance looks like. And, you know, if they win a match that week or not kind of thing, it gets you a little bit better idea of like, Oh, okay. This person actually has been pushed pretty decently in the company or, Oh, this person isn't even ranked really. So they maybe, you know, they, maybe they need to uh, get some more wins or something like that. Who knows? You know? Um, so it'll be kind of interesting to see. Let me kind of actually see how it plays out. But that's uh that's my update for all the TW series across the board. Um that being said, with the ranking thing set up, uh I don't know how soon a video is gonna be done for any of them because I'm still playing around with that stuff. So keep an eye out on the channel because there will be videos happening this week. Um but it will possibly be some other stuff we're going back to and exploring. Um, I know the Fallout series is still going. I probably need another video on that soon. Um, I have a couple of other series that have been on the channel for a while now that I haven't touched in a hot minute that I can go back to. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Um, so keep an eye out for those as well. But yeah, that's kind of, uh, I just want to kind of do this update because one, we have a new game coming out, which is crazy because everybody kind of always, everybody kind of all assumed that TW 2020 was going to be the final game in the TW series. And now all of a sudden it's like, Oh, nope, here's this new game and it's coming out in like a month and Oh crap, here you go. Um, <laughs> and two, I, you know, wanted to kind of do the, I kind of wanted to update you and, and reveal that I was going to be doing a ranking thing heading forward. So we'll see how that plays out, but that's going to do it. Thank you all for watching. Definitely appreciate it. And we will catch you in a future video.